Hey guys, welcome. Uh, this is Olivier, um, and I'm going to show you the uh, the combination of uh, Showbody from uh, uh, Entec and uh, DB Audio Wear, the Demix IS interface, and a relatively new Laser World uh, DS3000 RGB. And uh, this Laser World uh, DS3000 is uh, connected right now uh, using DMX. So I'm controlling it uh, from my uh, PC here uh, using DMXs um, and, and using Showbody, right? So it's really about, uh, yeah, looking at the, uh, the laser, uh, how you can control it with the, D the DMX settings and it's uh, using the, what is called in the, uh, the user guide, the, um, the, the DG mode, which uh, I believe uh, uses 19 DMX channels, uh, which have been programmed here, right? Uh, so, um, and, and, and it's, it's actually, I was actually surprised, but I found uh, that it's actually quite versatile and that we can do a lot with those, uh, with those channels. So let me turn the light off. All right, uh, put a little bit of uh, haze and smoke in there and uh, not too much and uh, show you the various, um, the, the various uh, DMX uh, channels and what the effect is. So, right, so the first one that we have here is the intensity and uh, that allows me to grade the laser uh, to the you know quite a minimum, and uh, so that's that's good. You, you have control over the, the 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 intensity there. The next one, which is quite interesting, is the uh, selection of a pattern. So the uh, DS three thousand, uh, which is uh, right now also uh, the equipped with the Shonet, has embedded a hundred uh, uh, effects uh, on uh, an SD card that is installed and uh, included as part of the uh, as part of the laser uh it's actually within the body so you cannot really access the the sd card uh, but you can upload a uh, new e ilda ilda um, figures on the laser uh, using the uh, ethernet interface so that's uh, this was quite an easy process right so you can select the pattern here uh, and uh, you can change the the, the pattern uh, so obviously this will go through all of the pre-programmed pattern, but if I go one by one, this is the first one, second one, and it goes on, right? So, and, and some of those are pretty cool uh, with a very nice uh, tunneling effect. Um, and uh, actually I find the, uh, you know, it's a 3000, so the light is pretty bright. And for me, it's going to be like small to medium venues. Uh, so that that'll be just fine. Uh, and uh, so you have uh, both static uh, patterns and, uh, and moving ones. Uh, but I'll show you later that actually moving patterns uh, are interesting and also can be controlled the same as the, the static. So even though here, for example, you have a wave, you will see that uh, uh, I can change a few things, right? So I'll, I'll actually stick on this wave because it has uh, two colors. Um, the other DMX channel that is interesting here is the speed. So with the speed, I can actually, now I froze the, uh, the, the animation. I can get it really slow and then gradually accelerate it. Uh, um, and uh, yeah, control the, uh, the speed of the wave. So I don't think, it doesn't seem that I can accelerate further than what it was originally programmed, but I can at least slow it down. So maybe if we use another pattern that is moving more let's see all right so we have this one which is you know not very fast but not really low as well and let me change the speed for that one going down uh, to the f <laughs> actually going even to a stop so yeah i can i can control the speed of the animation and right now it's actually almost uh, almost full speed right <coughs> okay so that's good and i stopped it which is Again, very nice uh, tunneling effect there. All right, so let me go back to the pattern that I used before, the wave, and just because I would like to show you the various uh, settings that I can change. So back to default for that wave. Uh, the other thing that you can change is the size, it's next DMX channel there. Um, so the size is, again, you can enlarge it looks like for some cases, but uh, it's more about, it looked to me, um, reducing the size, right? <coughs> Shrinking uh, the, the, the effect. 
uh, you will notice that if I shrink it too much, uh, you know, the beam is going to be very concentrated. So there is, um, uh, there is a security feature that uh, is going to shut down the laser if it's actually too concentrated, which is good. <laughs> we, we want that. Okay, so going back to the, uh, to the default, so you have control of the size. And uh, let me go back here in uh, show buddy if I can, it's not easy to, uh, to control the touchpad. Anyway, uh, the other thing is the auto size. Uh, auto size, um, not quite sure what it does, but it does change the uh, X and the Y. Uh, so um, again, we're basically verifying the, varying the, uh, the effect here. Uh, so it's another interesting one. All right, I'm sorry, but this one I just do not know. So the rotate uh, one uh, is interesting. Uh, rotate obviously allows you to rotate the figure uh, that you can see here. And uh, you can rotate uh, like in some kind of a, well, just a, a static position uh, like this, which even though the figure is actually dynamic and moves, uh, you can also rotate it uh, to something automatic, right? So right now it's just an automatic rotating. So you will have an infinite rotation of, uh, of the figure. All right, so that was for the rotate. Again, all of those are controlled via, via DMX, so there is no complex ILBA setup. It's just a DMX that is uh, plugged behind. So you should be able to do that with uh, a lot of consoles. The X position uh, moves the, uh, the figure, uh, you know, on the X axis. All right, uh, then you have a fine position for the X. And then you have the Y position, which is going to move the figure up and down. Man, this is this is really beautiful. I don't know how it looks like on the screen, on the on the on the, uh, on the camera, but uh, here it's really beautiful. All right. Uh, the also interesting one here is the uh, color effects. So color effect is going to change the color of your figure. So right now it's a red, um, orange, going yellow ish and uh, greener and greener and uh, up to a white so i can control the color um, i can move even though again the figure was not programmed with those colors but uh, the, the, the 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 dmx control gives me uh, access to changing the color so again getting i guess the most <laughs> out of the uh, of the pre-programmed patterns and figures so imagine that y you have a feature that you program and you program it once with some colors. In fact, with DMX, the DMX control of this uh, uh, Laser World DS3000, uh, you will be able to, um, to change the color live uh, during the show. So you don't have to program a lot of different colors beforehand, which is, again, super handy. All right, another cool one, which I, I think is uh, very fun, is it's kind of a like rainbow type of change so it's it's uh, it's an extended thing and again it's all about changing the color so you can change the uh, uh, the colors to, uh, to be rainbow one thing that uh, maybe is actually obvious if you look this at the specs but uh, this laser has uh, it's not TTL so it's actually analog or close to it so you get a lot of uh, variant shades and uh, and different colors um, again it looks very beautiful to me here I don't know how well you look, you, you can see it. Uh, the, this, uh, this effect uh, on this channel, on this color effect extended, um, can also rotate the colors. So uh, up to like, for example, this one, uh, I just changed the, uh, the setting and the, the colors are rotating now and making a beautiful rainbow, which is hard to actually use during a band, uh, you know, pre-programmed show, but for laser show, maybe really interesting. Um, you have the strobe, which allows you to, to control, uh, well, uh, generate a strobing effect. So from very slow, kind of really more blinking, uh, to something that you can accelerate uh, up to the fact that it's really like a stroboscope uh, that, that you get there. Very interesting as well. Uh, the operation mode is about controlling uh, using DMX and, uh, and other. I don't know why you would have a DMX change for that, but I guess sometimes it's useful. The scan speed, uh, I think this is $200 with care. I'll leave it to the very default zero, but the intent is to change the speed of the scanners uh, using DMX. 
Uh, so this is actually very small and I can increase the speed. Um, I won't touch that too much. I don't want to, you know, uh, this is very new to me, so I don't want to damage anything right now. Uh, what is interesting there is the safety zone as well. So let me actually do something like that. I will uh, rotate the beam so that it's very close to me. All right, like this. All right, and uh, so if I don't pay attention, actually, I'm going to have the beam in, front in, in my eyes. Uh, but uh, then I can control the safety zone, right? So I found that um, you control the safety zone um, and you can control on the left, on the right, etc. And the next parameter next to it is the actual um, intensity by which you are going to reduce the, uh, the laser, right? So with the safety zone, what you want to do is have within the safety zone a laser that is of, uh, I mean, less bright, uh, than than um, than the original. Okay, so uh, you control the, uh, the 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 strength by which the uh, the laser is reduced. So let me actually go to full intensity so that you can see the effect. Uh, the safety zone um, and all of the settings are actually documented in the documentation. But uh, right now, what I'm doing is that I'm going to say, I don't know if you can see it actually, um, but basically below almost half of the screen, the laser intensity is uh, largely reduced and I can reduce it even further up to a point that actually the laser isn't even active anymore. So where it used to almost hit me like this, you see there that I can reduce the intensity up to the point that actually it's not going to hit within the safety zone. Um, using ILDA, uh, you can control that even further uh, and you can have, uh, like, for example, blank spots where you control, uh, you know, protect a camera or something. Uh, but I found really interesting that you can control that with DMX. I was not actually expecting that. All right, let me get uh, rid of the rotation. There you go. So it's back to hitting the roof. And uh, remove the safety zone for now. Uh, another effect is the uh, blanking. So let me get a little bit of color here. Find this... Uh, A little bit, yeah, there you go. Some colors, but not too much. <laughs> um, a little bit of haze. All right, so uh, yeah, the blanking is interesting. The, uh, the blanking is all in reducing the safety intensity. Uh, the blanking is a way to basically blank some of it. And you see here that it's blanking um, some part of the figures up until this part, and I can blank everything. So imagine that now I can control that on my console and have very, very interesting effects, right? And this is an automatic blanking. And the blank shift, which allows you to, uh, to see where you start blanking and everything. So overall, uh, very interesting to, uh, I mean, I'm super happy with the laser. Um, I was not expecting all of those controls capabilities um, within the, um, uh, within, I mean, using DMX, so that's a very good surprise. Um, in my show, I, I use a number of fixtures, and, and you see it's, it's all uh, light up right now. Um, the, the good thing also with uh, Showbody Active uh, that uh, I've been using here is that you can have some kind of a preview, so I programmed a lot of it without uh, everything being, being uh, mounted and being live, uh, which I always prefer to be live, but... <laughs> It's also uh, handy to be able to do things without uh, being live at your desk. Uh, and, uh, and I can add the uh, laser tunnels and, uh, and everything using DMX. And it's all synchronized with my uh, pre-programmed show. So that, uh, and here I can even add rotation, right? So uh, this way, all right. So this way, uh, everything can be totally controlled uh, as setups in the, uh, uh, using uh, doing uh, show, bu show buddy active and you can see the things that uh, will move all right let me select like that kind of a setting and see uh, show buddy active do its thing and and using using the oscillators and everything to uh, um, well to add some uh, flash that are 
exactly synchronized with the uh, the beat right all right so i hope this was a good tour of the uh, features of uh, this uh, laser world ds3000 uh, shonet and i think it's exactly the same without the shonet interface uh, which allows you to control the uh, ethernet but here it was all about controlling uh, leveraging dmx and uh, using showbody active so i hope this was interesting to you <laughs>